everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to measure the height of all of your seedlings and compile that data into a table in your seedling data set Google Sheets. We're then going to use that data to figure out the mean, median, and mode of your seedling height data set. You are going to need your seedlings, your computer, a ruler, preferably one that has centimeters on it, and if your seedlings are really delicate, you'll also want to grab a piece of string. So what you're going to do for each and every one of your seedlings is you're going to put the ruler at the base using the centimeter side if that's available to you down at the soil and measure up to the top of your plant. I'm measuring it kind of at this little crook here and this looks to be about seven and a half centimeters tall. So go ahead and just round your measurement to the nearest half of a centimeter or half of an inch if you're using inches. If you have really fragile, tiny seedlings, you will want to use a string and instead place the string down at the soil level. Hold it up to the top of the plant and pinch. And then take that string and map it onto a ruler to figure out how many centimeters or inches tall your very delicate plant is. So this also shows me that it's about eight centimeters. Once you have the data for each individual seedling, you're going to put it in your Google Sheets, your seedling data set Google Sheets. Each of the lines in this orange column represents the height of a different plant. Please make sure to indicate at the top of your column which unit of measurement you used, whether that be inches or centimeters. We have all of our seedling height data in this table right here. We're going to find the mean, which is the average, the median, which is the value right in the middle, and the mode, the most frequently occurring data value for this data set. And I'm going to show you how we can use Google Sheets to give us some shortcuts with this. First, let's arrange our data in order from the lowest number to the highest number. That will help us find the median because we want the value that's right in the middle of all these numbers. It will also help us figure out what the mode is, the most frequently occurring value. To do this, we're going to highlight our entire column of numbers. So I'm going to start by clicking on the top value and you'll know that it's highlighted because it's um, circled in blue. I'm going to hold down the shift key and then click the last value that I want included and everything should be highlighted in blue that I want to select. Next, I'm going to go to data and I want to not sort the sheet because that's going to include my title, but I want to sort the range because I selected a range that I highlighted in order from least to greatest. If these were words, then it would be in alphabetical order from A to Z, but they're numbers, so it will arrange it in order from least to greatest number. All right, so now my data, same numbers, is arranged in a way that's much easier for me to see. Looking at this, I can see some values, some centimeter heights occur pretty frequently. Four occurs twice, five and a half occurs twice, um, eight occurs twice, but six and a half or 6.5 occurs three times. That is the value that occurs the most frequently for all of my values. And that means that my mode is six and a half centimeters. All right, now for my median. My median is the value that's exactly in the middle of this set. Because I have, um, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen values. I'm going to count down six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'll look at this one right here. I think that that is my middle value. Let's double check. I'll go ahead and highlight that value and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven above it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven below. So my median, the value right in the middle, is also six and a half or 6.5 centimeters. 
Now to find the mean or the average, I should be adding up all of these values and dividing them by the total number of values that I have. I could do that on paper. I could add up four plus four plus 4.5, et cetera, and divide it by the total number of values that I have, which is 15, but that would take a lot of time. What I can do instead is I can use the steps from earlier to highlight my whole range of data. I can go to this little sideways M looking icon up here that says functions. And it's going to help me calculate the average or the mean. I'll click on average. And here's the command. I can hit enter. And my average is 6.433333, etc. Just round to the nearest hundredths place. So the mean, the average of my data set, is 6.43 centimeters. Okay. Now we have um, identified these three data analysis indicators for our seedling height data using Google Sheets.